I finally got around to pulling hair to send off for A2 testing on my herd. If you've been in the dairy industry for any amount of time at all, you have heard of A2 milk. I'm not going to talk about what it is. I'm just going to show you how to pull the hair, where to send it, and how to send it off. Super easy to do. <laughs> So don't be intimidated and it's a great way to make good decisions on breeding plans and if you sell raw milk like me, it'll help inform your customers as well. First you gotta order the test. I use UC Davis. They make it super easy and painless. Uh, just Google UC Davis A2 testing and there it is the first one. The test that we're doing for A2 is just $33 but there's several other tests and panels that you can add to that. Here's pretty straightforward. You just fill out the animal's information. That was supposed to say a willow, but oh well. <laughs> you don't have to fill all this out. You can see the little red asterisks are required areas. But for record keeping, it's always best to use as much information as you can. I'm gonna blur my personal information, but right here, ask if you want the results relayed to the owner, you, or someone else as an agent. Uh, just click whatever you wanna do. Here, I'm gonna click A2, beta casein testing. You can see there's several other tests that you can test for on the same strands of hair. I'm going to click the terms and conditions and save. It's going to take you to a page where you can add more animals or you can proceed to check out. Once you check out, you're going to get an email with a PDF of all the papers you need to print out. You're going to have two pages with payment information on there, one you keep and one you send off with your hair samples. And each cow is going to have their own paper like this. We're going to pull about 20 to 40 hairs out of the tail. Make sure that you pick a strand that's nice and clean. Once you have your strand separated, you're going to wrap it around your fingers and pull up hard. You need to commit, do not hesitate when you pull. Here you can see most of the root bulbs intact. Once we double check the name on the papers, we tape the hair down and then we're going to fold it up. When sending several samples in, I use a manila envelope. You can find the UC Davis address on those papers with the billing information that I showed you earlier. And it's that easy. I can expect results in about 15 days through my email.